Now, we don't watch much TV, obviously, because uh, now we have a child. But the one show we always make an appointment to view is David Attenborough's Planet Earth. I find that genuinely the most gripping television out there because you've got no idea where it's going to go. It's not a plot, but when they pit these animals... <laughs> they don't pit them against each other at all. <laughs> just, it's not like in a car park. God, do him. No, they... <laughs> But whatever happens in, 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 that, in that documentary, you've got no idea who's going to live, who's going to die, and they often trick you. So you'll be watching a little shrew run away from some wanker of a hawk who's got all the status, the whole sky to himself. You're thinking, run, mate, run for your life, because he's small and furry, so he must be a goody. He's running, and then he does escape, and you're like, you thought he was toast? No way, you did it, yes, in your beak, hawk face. And then the hawk circles sadly away, and that's when Attenborough comes on the voiceover. The hawk knows if she cannot feed her chicks by the end of the week, they will all die. <laughs> Immediately you flip. It's only a bloody shrew. Go and get. I, I saw where it went. Suddenly I'm grassing up a field mouse. There it is, get it. And they won't intervene, will they? The camera crews, the BBC camera crews, absolutely will not intervene. Obviously, if it's like a, a tiger and a human baby, they'll probably make a call. <laughs> But my, my wife's brother, my new brother-in-law, is a BBC Natural History Department camera assistant, and he was saying there is only one instance, you can check this out online, where they actually intervened. They were in the Antarctic shooting penguins, filming penguins. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a very different show. <laughs> it's all on the licence, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was quite high up. Yeah, he was on a ledge. <laughs> Cutting devil. <laughs> But they're, they're in the Antarctic, they're, they're filming penguins, and we know the way penguins work. There's the lovely little fluffy grey penguin chick, the mum and the dad taking in turns to go off and get the fish and then bring the fish back to give to the penguin. And, uh, and the mum had died, and the dad had gone off and he got the fish, he'd come back with it, but he couldn't find the little penguin chick. He was right there in a little, whatever a uh, big crevice is called, a crevasse. It can't be that easy. <laughs> whatever it is, just in a dip. And he's kind of like, you know, freaking out. But he's right there, the little chick's right there, and all of the camera operators are stood there going... He's there, he's right there. And they and they they pointed him out and they moved the chick. That's the one time. And he fed the little penguin chick and it grew up, it lived, and that little penguin chick grew up to be Donald Trump. <laughs> Oh, it makes you think. <laughs> it's always nice to perform in a venue that looks and feels like a really oversubscribed one of those puzzle room escape games. 